99% of the time, if there is a primary challenger to an incumbent Democrat, I am supporting the primary challenger. But in the instance of a U.S. Senate race in Massachusetts, this is a different story. So Joe Kennedy III is challenging Ed Marquis, and in the event he were to be successful in defeating Ed Marquis, I mean, this would be a huge loss for the country. Ed Marquis is by no means perfect, but I can tell you this, he's much better than Joe Kennedy. Joe Kennedy is a milquetoast corporate Democrat who doesn't even believe that we should legalize cannabis. This is clearly someone who's just looking out for his own career, and he doesn't actually have any interesting thoughts. He's just there because of his last name. He's there because, you know, he's coasting off of the Kennedy legacy that he thinks will eventually get him into the White House. But Ed Marquis has actually been someone who's been a fighter for the people. He co-sponsored Medicare for All, and I think that he was one of the loudest voices on our side when we were fighting to save net neutrality. And on top of that, he sponsored the Green New Deal with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. So as far as I'm concerned, there's nobody better than him that's running. So I support Ed Marquis. We don't need him to be primaried when, especially someone like Joe Kennedy, like if we're trading up and we're getting a democratic socialist who is maybe more vocal uh, than Ed Marquis, okay, that's fine. But I think we would be, you know, um, more savvy if we used our time challenging other more problematic Democrats. So this primary doesn't need to take place, but I want to play a clip from a debate that these two ha these two men had because it really shows you how Joe Kennedy, um, he's a phony. I think that Ed Marquis does a phenomenal job at exposing how much of a fake Joe Kennedy is because all of a sudden, Joe Kennedy is trying to convince people that he is progressive when in actuality, he's not very progressive. He's a Johnny-come-lately, and it's all lip service. It's an attempt to placate the left. But watch how masterful uh, Ed Marquis is in exposing what a fraud Joe Kennedy is. Take a look. When Bernie Sanders and I introduced Medicare for All in 2017, Congressman Kennedy did not sign up. It took him two years to sign up. What did he do in the weeks after we introduced that bill in 2017? He went to Detroit to a Cranes Business Council, and when asked about Medicare for All, he analyzed its prospects. And what he said was, even if we had the House, the Senate, and the presidency, he didn't think Medicare for All could ever pass. He said it was better to just think about incremental change. That's not leadership. That's not vision. That's not standing up and fighting for what you believe in. That's how you get the votes. That's what I do on environmental issues. Well, I stand Kennedy, up and I fight to make sure that we get the vote. I really enjoyed that clip. And Ed Markey tweeted this out, and good for him. I would be using this clip, you know, myself. If I were running for office, if, you know, I was a campaign manager, this is a good clip. This is really important. Um, and I like it for two reasons. First of all, it really shows how Bernie Sanders has influenced political discourse, at least within the Democratic Party, right? He may not have been the Democratic Party's nominee in 2016 and 2020, unfortunately, but we're still talking about Bernie Sanders. His legacy will last, you know, decades, and that's really important. Um, but Ed Marquis really showed everyone how this isn't someone who believes in anything, because back in 2017, Ed Marquis co-sponsored Medicare for All when Bernie Sanders introduced it, but Joe Kennedy was not a supporter of Medicare for All. All of a sudden, as he's trying to, you know, win the Senate seat, he's supporting it, right? He's paying lip service to the idea of universal health care, and he says he supports Medicare for All, but it took him two years, two years, to jump on board with it after it's been introduced. And now, you know, he is bringing Pramila Jayapal onto his YouTube channel to try to educate people about Medicare for All. But where were you, uh, you know, during the 2020, 2019 primary process? If you are truly as progressive as you want people to think you are, why didn't you endorse the person who is championing Medicare for All, Bernie Sanders? You said nothing. You said absolutely nothing. Why weren't you there from day one? And I think that Ed Marquis uh, put it best. He says that uh, Joe Kennedy, after this bill was introduced, talked with business leaders and said that even if Democrats control all of government, he thinks it's better to just talk about it, to think about an incremental change. No, no, that's not good enough because that tells us that 
you're only taking this position, this pro Medicare for all position for purposes of political expediency. No, unacceptable, completely unacceptable. And uh, one thing that scares me about this race is that Joe Kennedy actually has the support of a lot of prominent Democrats, unlike other primary challengers to incumbent Democrats. So he could actually defeat Ed Markey and we'd be trading down. We'd be getting someone who is less progressive to a higher level of office. That would be awful. Now, one area where I disagree with Ed Markey is he gives himself a little bit too much credit. He says when Bernie Sanders and I introduced Medicare for All, I mean, let's let's pump the brakes there because that was Bernie's bill. Um, you know, you definitely get all the credit for, you know, the Senate version of the Green New Deal. You get all the credit in the world for standing up, you know, uh, for net neutrality. But that's not your bill, but still the fact that you supported it, that's all I really care about. So this race is... Um, it's interesting, right? Because usually the Democratic Party is against primary challengers, but it seems like they don't really take much of an issue with uh, Joe Kennedy here. And you even have people who I thought were progressive, like Jamie Raskin, holding fundraisers for Joe Kennedy to elect him over Ed Markey. So it just, it doesn't make sense to me. I get that Jamie Raskin and, Ed, uh, and uh, Joe Kennedy are colleagues, but I mean... I don't care about your interpersonal relationships in Congress. I just want policies passed that are good, period. So if you're not going to help us, step aside, okay? So, you know, Joe Kennedy is someone who the establishment propped up. We know that he gave a response to Trump's State of the Union, and it looked like he was drooling all over his lips. It just gross, sloppy. Like, I'm sick of Democrats who are very obviously only looking out for their own careers, saying what they know we want to hear, but not actually delivering policy results, okay? Ed Markey actually has a track record of stepping up when the left needs him, right? He was there screaming about net neutrality when Joe Kennedy wasn't saying much. He was there for the Green New Deal Senate version when Joe Kennedy wasn't leading on climate change. Ed Markey was there when Bernie Sanders desperately needed people to support Medicare for All, and you didn't support the House version. It was John Conyers at the time, and uh, you only now are jumping on the bandwagon now that it's popular. I mean, I'm sick of this. I'm so sick of this. We need people who actually care about policy, and they have that as their priority and not their career, but unfortunately with politics, you have a bunch of sociopaths who don't really believe in anything, just trying to, you know, make some career advances, and it's disgusting, it's uh, really disappointing, but that's why we have to sound the alarms and, you know, support people who are actually doing good work for us. I don't agree with Ed Markey on everything. There's some areas where I disagree with him, but, you know, if given the choice between him and Joe Kennedy the third. I'm going with Ed Markey every single time. He's the better option, and he's a pretty solid senator. So, um, yeah, this is an unnecessary primary challenge, and I hope that Joe Kennedy the third loses.